another New Year's Eve dealing with drunk and noxious jerks. We'd much rather be home with our family watching fireworks. The same sacrifice on public holidays uh, and over Christmas too. The time away from home is tough, but it's needed for what we do. The Crimes Act, the Enclosed Lands Act and, and other bits of legislation are items we need top of mind when working at our station. The Regs, the Liquor Act, Leper Act and many more, but it's not a legal title we have hanging above our door. We deal with tears, sadness, depression and other feelings too. Frustration, anger and aggression we often cop from you. We deal with vomit, blood and trauma and often much, much worse. But the title of our job is not a doctor or a nurse. We help stop theft at construction sites and assist with loss prevention. We keep people safe at universities, train stations, but rarely get a mention. We do mobile patrols, control room duties, and even rapid response on horse. But we're not who you just thought of, your local police force. From what I've said, I'm guessing now you've worked out what we do. Perhaps you earlier thought in Ambo, or one of the boys and girls in blue. They make the same sacrifices and face the same issues, of course. But this poem was written for my brothers and sisters globally in the security workforce. So the next time you're at a shopping centre, a footy game or a music gig, if something's made you unhappy, don't lose the plot and flip your wig. We're here to keep you safe and well, I hope this poem conveys. But it's important to remember, courtesy and respect is a street that goes both ways. We work weird hours, we see weird things, we deal with what we must, but the core of what we do, we know, is a key position of trust. We protect people, property, reputation and information too. Tying it all together, we provide peace of mind for you. Stay safe to everybody in the security industry.